The sun is the center of our solar system and the source of life on Earth, but it's also a mysterious and dangerous place. Its surface is so hot that nothing can survive there. Its atmosphere is so violent that it sends out streams of charged particles that can harm us, and its secrets are so hidden that we can't see them from afar. But what if we could get closer? What if we could touch the sun? You might think this is a crazy idea or a fantasy, but it's not. It's reality. And it's happening right now. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is on an epic quest to touch the sun. That's right, touch the sun. And it has just accomplished a stunning feat. It has soared through the sun's upper atmosphere for the first time ever, collecting particles and magnetic fields there. And now we have some amazing news to share with you. In a new study unveiling a new discovery made by the probe, scientists have uncovered the origin and mechanism of the fast solar wind on the sun's surface. They have also verified that Parker Solar Probe has penetrated the sun's upper atmosphere for the first time, touching the very essence of our star. This is a historic milestone and a breakthrough for solar science. In this episode, we will tell you everything you need to know about NASA's Parker Solar Probe and its mission to touch the sun. We will also reveal the latest findings from its historic flyby through the solar corona, which have been published in a new paper this week. So buckle up and get ready for an incredible journey to the heart of our star. Parker Solar Probe is not just a spacecraft, it's a dream come true. A dream that started more than 60 years ago, when a physicist named Eugene Parker predicted the existence of the solar wind. He was the first to realize that the sun's corona was so hot that it could escape the sun's gravity and create a supersonic flow of plasma that filled the space around the sun. Parker's theory was revolutionary, but it was also controversial. Many scientists doubted him and challenged him, but he was right, and NASA decided to honor him by naming their most ambitious solar mission after him, Parker Solar Probe. Parker Solar Probe was launched in 2018 with a bold goal, to touch the sun. To do that, it had to fly closer to the sun than any spacecraft before, and it had to survive the extreme heat and radiation of the sun's atmosphere. But how did it do that? Well, it had some clever tricks up its sleeve. First, it had a powerful rocket that boosted it to incredible speeds. At its fastest, it can zoom around the sun at about 430,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to get from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C. in one second. Second, it had a thick shield made of carbon composite that protected it from the sun's heat. The shield can withstand temperatures reaching nearly 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,377 Celsius, that's hotter than lava. Third, it had a smart cooling system that kept its instruments at a comfortable temperature. The system used water to circulate heat around the spacecraft and radiate it away. And fourth, it had an autonomous software that controlled its orientation and attitude. The software made sure that the shield always faced the sun and that none of the other parts of the spacecraft were exposed to direct sunlight. Thanks to these tricks, Parker Solar Probe could fly closer and closer to the sun, breaking records and making history along the way. In a new paper published in the journal Nature this week, reveals a groundbreaking discovery made by Parker Solar Probe. It shows that the fast solar wind comes from regions of open magnetic field on the sun called coronal holes. These are areas where magnetic field lines stick out of the surface without looping back inward, creating open channels that allow plasma to escape. Parker Solar Probe also found that these coronal holes are like shower heads, with jets of plasma emerging from bright spots where magnetic field lines funnel into and out of the surface. These funnels are huge, about 18,000 miles across, and have very strong magnetic fields. But how do these jets produce the solar wind? Well. Parker Solar Probe has an answer for that too. It detected bursts of high-energy particles that match the pattern of these funnels, suggesting that they are caused by a process called interchange reconnection. Interchange reconnection is when oppositely directed magnetic fields pass one another in these funnels and break and reconnect, slinging particles out of the sun. This process releases energy and creates pressure and flow bursts that drive the solar wind. The paper shows data from Parker Solar Probe's instruments, such as plasma velocity, 
ion energy and magnetic field direction. It also compares the data with computer simulations of interchange reconnection and calculates the energy release rate of this process. This discovery is crucial as it helps us know how and why the solar wind is generated and accelerated. It also shows that Parker Solar Probe has entered the sun's upper atmosphere for the first time, touching the very essence of our star. But why do we care about touching the sun? What does it mean for us on Earth? Well, as we said before, we live in the sun's atmosphere. And what happens on the sun affects us here. The solar wind carries not only particles, but also magnetic fields that interact with Earth's magnetic field. This interaction can create beautiful auroras, but it can also cause geomagnetic storms that can damage satellites, disrupt power grids, and harm astronauts. The solar wind is not always steady and smooth. Sometimes it can be faster or slower, denser or thinner, hotter or colder, depending on what's happening on the sun. For example, when there are explosions on the sun called solar flares or coronal mass ejections, they can send huge bursts of solar wind towards Earth. These bursts can arrive in a matter of hours or days and cause severe space weather effects. Understanding how and where the solar wind originates will help us predict these events and prepare for them. It will also help us protect our technology and infrastructure from potential damage. But there's more to it than that. Studying the sun also helps us learn about other stars in the universe. The sun is our closest star and our best laboratory to test our theories and models of stellar physics. By touching the sun, we can touch other stars as well. And who knows what else we might discover along the way? The sun is full of surprises and secrets that we have yet to uncover. The Parker Solar Probe is opening new windows into our star and its mysteries. And it's not done yet. It still has more orbits to complete, each one bringing it closer and closer to its final destination, about 3.8 million miles, 6 million kilometers, from the sun's surface by 2025. That's when the Parker Solar Probe will truly touch the sun like never before. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed learning about NASA's Parker Solar Probe and its mission to touch our star. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about space exploration. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about Parker Solar Probe and its discoveries. What do you find most fascinating about the sun? What do you want to know more about? We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.